one should be afraid in a place of worship. I know this is a simple thing to say, but when I think of all the anti-Muslim rhetoric, the recent incidents and the hate being spewed at our community of faith, I question the simplicity of this concept. I have thought of taking off my hijab many times. Not because I don't believe in wearing it. I do. I'm just not sure if I can get a job with it. I have this paranoia. I don't know if I didn't get the job because of my hijab, the way I look, or is it because I'm truly not the most qualified person for it? Being a Muslim and a man of color, yeah, that's a challenge. Every time I step out of my home, my parents remind me to be aware. <laughs> They're scared for me. When a loud noise, or when I see the door open suddenly, I get this eerie feeling. Being a Muslim is a part of my everyday activity. My faith is not only my identity, it is what I practice. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. My name is Imam Muhammad Nabil. What you have just seen is a real representation of what many Muslims are facing on a day-to-day -day basis. Many of our community members are struggling with identity challenges, systemic racism, and discrimination in our country. Where we are obligated by our faith and religion to fight and combat against Islamophobia, anti-black racism, anti-Asian violence, or any sort of discrimination. We at the Islamic Center of Markham and Islamic Society of Markham are very excited to announce this new and exciting anti-racism action plan. Our goal is to reduce barriers for the Muslim community, enhance the positive relationship between our community and the criminal justice system, and to reduce employment barriers due to Islamophobia. Throughout the year, watch out for four aspects of our program. First, youth justice program will include a combination of life training, skills, education, family training, including assistance with transitions, employment training, and other opportunities. Our second program is our anti-racism business program, which will help increase awareness about anti-racism and Islamophobia at the workplace, and it will help reduce discrimination practices in terms of interviewing, hiring, training, and employment promotions. Number three, there will be 10 interfaith events in collaboration with the faith leaders and the York Regional Police. Each interfaith event will include discussion circles, question answers, sessions, information on how to combat online hate, especially on the social media and the forums in Markham and beyond. The fourth is a story-based video series from our community members that will showcase their day-to-day -day challenges and accomplishments. We are truly excited for this program and urge you all to participate and we can't wait to see the real practical impact it will have on our day-to-day -day life.